Hi there, I'm Lee Prescott from the Velo Atelier Bicycle Studio and Service Centre. Uh, we recently bought ourselves a new pump, the Silka Pista Plus, and we thought this would be a perfect opportunity for us to compare it to our old pump, the Lazine Alloy Floor Drive. Uh, this retails for half the price of the Silka. So is this one twice as good? Stay tuned and find out. So I guess the, the question really is, is this one worth twice the price of this one? And that's actually really difficult to answer. I think the key thing is, will it last twice as long? And my guess would be yes. I mean, you know, I have an SKS pump that's built very similarly to this that I've had for 25 years. And that's traveled around the world with me, being thrown in the back of team cars, getting wet day in, day out and it's still as good today as it was the day I bought it. So both of these pumps have very similar feature sets. Um, yes, the build quality of the Silka is definitely outstanding. 
Um, but that said, you know, the Lazine has worked day in, day out here at the studio for over four years, and it's been absolutely sound. It's never missed a beat. We have swapped a few different chucks out, um, but other than that, the internals have never even been serviced, and they are serviceable. And, you know, is this worth the extra money? And I think my gut feeling is yes. Um, I think they're both excellent pumps. I have a few little niggles with both of them. Um, the short hose on the Silka can be a little frustrating, although I'm really nitpicking. And, you know, push on pull off valves are great 90% of the time. On that odd occasion, you get someone who's got a little short valve in their rim, it, it, it becomes impossible to use, which is where, you know, the, the screw on valves um, uh, are useful. Both of these pumps would make a really worthwhile addition to any serious mechanics toolbox. And really my only niggle, which is with both pumps and just track pumps in general, um, so take note track pump manufacturers, is all the gauges go up to 220. Uh, I can't remember ever pumping a tire up to 220 in my entire career. Wouldn't it be better to devote the whole gauge to say 110, 115, which is really about the max we're gonna go up to even at the track. That way, all the divisions would have a bit more space and we'd be able to get our tires more accurately pumped up straight away without having to then use digital gauges. I'd be really interested to hear what you guys have got to say about either of these pumps. You know, if you have them and have a different experience of them than me, please drop a comment below, let us know what you think. I guess also, has this been interesting? Has this been useful to you guys? If it is, and you'd like us to look at anything else, tools, products, components, um, please, again, drop us a comment below of what you'd like to see us reviewing, and we'll try and make that happen. Stay safe, and look forward to speaking to you next time.